Today's topic is what is the statute of limitations? Now, if you're arrested nine months ago and charges still have not been filed against you, you might be interested in this video. Stick around. I think you're going to love this video. My name is Dodd. I've been a criminal defense attorney here in San Diego since 2004. My firm is Dodd Law. I want to talk to you today about what is a statute of limitations. Now, a statute of limitations is a very fancy word for saying a time limit, right? What that means is that on certain crimes, there is only a certain period of time that a prosecutor can bring charges against you. And typically, it starts from the date of arrest. Now, there are exceptions to that, but we're just going to talk about the date of arrest. So let's say hypothetically you are arrested on January 1st of 2022 for a misdemeanor. It is December 1st of 2022 and still charges have not been filed. Now, on most misdemeanors, there's only a one year statute of limitation. So if your case goes all the way until the following year, January 1st, the prosecutor is barred from bringing charges against you. That is called a statute of limitations. They cannot file charges against you. The case will be dismissed. Again, there are exceptions, but I'm just giving you the very simplistic explanation of what is a statute of limitations. Now, in most misdemeanors in California, it's a one-year statute of limitations. So charged with a DUI, if you're charged with domestic violence, you're charged with petty theft, you're charged with some drug offenses, there's one year from the date of your offense to file charges. If they don't, the case will be dismissed. Now, in a lot of felonies, there's a three-year statute of limitations. So if you're charged with a felony or arrested for a felony and three years go by and they don't file charges against you, they cannot then pop it up three years later. If that's the statute of limitations on the case you were arrested on. Now, there are exceptions, for example, murder cases, um, sexual assault cases, child molestation case, there is no statute of limitations. So you can be arrested for murder, you can be arrested for child molestation, you can be arrested for certain rape offenses 30 years down the road. There is no statute of limitations. But in most misdemeanor and felony offenses, there is a statute of limitations. Now, you know, we get these calls all the time. You know, I was arrested 10 months ago and charges still have not been filed against me. What do I do? And the answer is very simple. You don't do anything. You do not want to wake up the sleeping bear. Let the bear hibernate. The bear being the DA's office, the city attorney's office, the prosecutors, let them hibernate. You don't want to call. You don't want to have your attorney call and find out who's an attorney and who's the detective on the case and pop the case up. And all of a sudden they give the case over to the prosecutor. And one day before your statute of limitations is about to run, they file charges against you. Let the bear hibernate. I hope you like this video. You can subscribe to my channel. You can hit that like button. Have a great day.